Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport in a Big Bend trim and powered by a 1.5-liter EcoBoost engine, providing you with excellent power and fuel efficiency with obvious 4x4 capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions, but let's take a look inside. So first looking at the back, we have your back hatch that gives you easy access to your cargo area, which can't always be expanded by folding down the rear seats. Do also have articulating cargo lights, you know, you can kind of move them around. And uh, do also have a 12 volt power outlet here with hooks around the cargo area to tie down your stuff or just secure other things. And under this rugged cargo mat, you do have your spare tire with compartments around for spare tools and equipment. And then this closes again, but you do also have a separately opening glass hatch for easy access. And looking in the back seat, we have comfortable seating for three with fold-out armrests and two cup holders in the middle here, and a USB and USB-C down there. And the backs of the seats do also have zippered uh, storage pockets with sort of uh, nylon rigging here, so you can uh, clip stuff onto it just to keep it in place. This vehicle does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your car. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your controls for your center info screen here, where you can cycle through your uh, trip information, your my view with a digital speedometer, your driver assistance features, your navigation controls, radio controls, phone controls, and then other information such as service info and whatever else you want to look at. Uh, but then moving on to the left side where you have your cruise controls with your adaptive steering and uh, distance pacing technology and you have your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom of your steering wheel and your lane keeping system on the end of your signal stock. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen which is radio series and Bluetooth capable so you have some options there for whatever you want to listen to. And you have your Bluetooth phone controls, your navig navigation screen so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels whatever apps you may have installed and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you're going to be able to see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything with dynamic hitch view, so you can have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something of the sort. Moving down from your screen, you have your media controls as well as your auto start stop shut off and your hazards with a little compartment under here. Uh, and then you have your climate controls with heated front seats so you can stay cozy in the colder months. Down here you have a little cubby area where you have a 12 volt USB and USB-C so you can plug something into charge or power from there. And then you have your main shifter here on a dial, very convenient. Uh, parking brake, brake hold, two cup holders, and your GOAT modes. That uh, goes over any terrain, I believe, is what that stands for. Uh, so you have a couple of different drive modes, such as sand, normal, eco, sport, and slippery. So you can customize your driving experience a bit there. And then moving on to your center compartment slash armrest, which is pretty spacious and does have another 12 volt inside, so you can plug something in from there too. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.